What you see here is a modification that I'm going to implement just to get, just for basically two reasons. One, and you'll see once the total outcome is done, but one is to not only extract air from the machine to the outdoors, but also from a second source. So while you're doing the laser glass removal process, you might still have smells on the device and I'm gonna have another way to extract that. But besides the point, I'm showing you what I have and the reason is, when you really come to think about it, and <clears throat> I noticed this a little bit later, is that opening is not enough to get the CFMs out that I would get from the actual fan opening area. And it's just a, a, a law of airflow you can, uh, if you have a friend that does HVAC, you can ask him. But that opening is too small for this huge opening of airflow. Kind of like the um, the old, you can't put a square peg in a round hole. But anyway, I'm gonna show you exactly how we get that done. The first thing I did was remove this because it was gonna be in the way of this actual collar for one reason, and number two, you don't really need it if you're gonna have a duct in here. It's not gonna be a safety issue with someone putting their hand in it. But also, the the four screws that you see there were the four screws that would hold this bracket. They're also the four screws that are holding the fan on the inside, so they have to be there. So what I did is I aligned them so that the top of the collar would just hit those screws and these would be exposed. And then down at the bottom, as you can see, there's screws that I used, sheet metal screws that would just dig into the sheet metal. So that was the beginning. And then I also added a little bit of silicone adhesive here so you don't have any small amounts of air leakage seeping out of there. But that's the first part, that's the first step. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna post a link of exactly where you can get this and the size, because then you're gonna need this device here it's gonna take it from that size to the size that is for the four inch duct, the duct that we use for, for exhausting it straight to the outdoors. It's the same duct that you would use on a dryer. So I'm gonna post a link to this too. But you wanna either get uh, screws that are gonna go on the side here just to hold it in, if that works for you. But I'm also gonna post where you can get this as well. Once you have the connector in there and you have your screws, what I did, and you might be able to see this from the inside, you see that little bit of adhesive on the inside, is I put adhesive all around the outer ring of this connector. So when this came right on it, it would create like an airtight seal. Once that dries out, it'll be airtight. And then to make the screws airtight, you can put some of the adhesive around it just like I did there. And you can see even on this side. So I used three screws. And then if you look at it straight on, you can see that the fan is almost aligned right in here. So it's gonna be a nice little straight shot. We didn't use this size to collar it into the unit because it was too small with regards to the screws. So we had to do this kind of modification that you see there. Now this will all make sense later, but we're going to put this kind of a trap door damper so that we can get more air going to the other area that we're gonna be exhausting. It's kinda of gonna be like a two into one exhaust. So it'll make sense once the video's completed, but what we're gonna do, since the collar is kinda of like the same size almost, I mean, it, it kinda of fits in there a little bit, but we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our heat gun and we're going to soften this rubber so, so then this would just fit right in there nicely. So we're gonna do that and show you the, the outcome. So this is what it's gonna look like once I've heated the rubber part here. It kind of made it a little bit more flexible because it's almost the same size as this actual damper mechanism. So it was able to fit in there nicely. I mean, it's really snug. I don't know if I'm even gonna put any kind of adhesive. I might just do it, but anyway, it's in there nice and snug. And what the whole method of the madness here is, 
If I want more exhaust going on from the other end, which I'll show you later, I can just easily close this when the machine is not in use. So the way it's going to exhaust from there, it's going to go right into a duct like you see here. And at the end of the duct, you have this connector. And guys, don't be afraid. I'm going to post everything that I'm doing here so you can have an idea of how to get it. But this connector here will have you exhaust air from the machine and then from your area where you're working, removing the glass. So it's gonna be a little bit easier once all this is said and done. Once you see the whole complete finish, you'll understand a little bit better. All right, hopefully for you, things are starting to take shape here. So we have our damper here. We have the duct that's going into this device here that's kinda, you can either have the air go straight out this way or we can have air from our work area go out this way. So we're gonna show you once that's fully completed, but hopefully it's starting to take shape for you here. At the moment, we're letting the adhesive dry out. And one thing I wanted to point out is the adhesive that we're using, when you apply it, it applies white in color, and then it goes, goes clear afterwards. So that's a good way to tell if it's already dried up or if it's still not dried up in a certain area. So over here, for example, this area was all applied and now it's clear, but it's still a little white here. So we're waiting for that to dry out. But wanted to show you the uh, trap door that we have set up here. So while the machine is running, this trap door is open. So it's allowing the air to go through it and then exhaust to the outside. And then on the other side, this one here is closed. This is the one that we're gonna be using on our blue mat once we're working on the phone. As you can see, the door is closed. So once the machine is being, once the work in the machine is done, you can just turn this and allow the door to come down. And then over here, you open the door and tighten up your screw. And then you can exhaust only from this side and not from this side. And it will still exhaust all the way to the outside that way. So the machine is already up and running as far as our setup and the suction is so strong that it's making the fan turn on its own just from our exhaust fan that we're using. The machine's not even on as you can see it's not even on but the fan is turning just from having the suction on and you can see that here on our meter and there it is back there you can see our setup the door is open trap doors open and it's just pulling air just from that source. Our second source which is this one is just tucked away but if you would need to work on the phone after you're done using the machine just bring this to your area raise the door and then what you would do here is close that door and now you're getting all the suction here you can actually hear it so you're getting a straight suction to the outside. It all goes up that duct, right there, and into our exhaust fan. So I thought I would share this with the community since there are a few shop owners that are using this machine and want to have the most efficient way to exhaust the air outside. So to finalize, we're gonna show you here just how much suction it has. You can see how it's pulling the cloth. So as long as you have it running where you're opening the trap door here, you'll be able to have the full exhaust from it. So if you're working around here, you'll easily have all the air exhausted to the outside. As we mentioned, we will be, and you can see now that the fan is off because I closed the trap door behind it. So as I mentioned before, I will be posting a link where I got all the materials, so do not fear. Everything will be in the uh, video description so you can get the parts and do it yourself. If you have any questions, please post it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.